Well, hello everybody and welcome along to Fan Game Friday here for the Celebrity FIFA World Cup. The game you guys have chosen to see today is Australia against England. A mammoth contest coming up. It's me in the commentary booth with Alan Smith as always. Great to see you, Alan. Oh, good to see you too. So uh, both teams have rotated their squads very slightly from the last game. We'll see the lineups in just a second, along with all the action. Join us next, and it's live. So starting once again for Australia in goal is Iggy Azalea. They're playing a 4-3-3. They've got two of the Wiggles, either side of Revel, Wilson and Hugh Jackman in central defence. Three across central midfield, it's Alf Stewart, Chris Hemsworth and Steve Irwin. And it's three in attack as well with Kylie Minogue and Nicole Kidman, either side of Tim Cahill. What a potent attack that sounds like, Alan. Well, it does. And, uh, yeah... And now to England, they're playing a 4-2-3-1. Winston Churchill keeps his place in goal. Back four of Adele, Ainsley Harriet, Lethal Bizzle and Judy Dench. In defensive midfield, it's the Queen partnering David Attenborough. The three in front of them are KSI, David Beckham and Ed Sheeran just in behind Stormzy, who's the lone striker today. And as the game gets kicked off here, well, it should be a fantastic contest. Both teams looking good in their first game. Of course, Australia beaten by Germany. So they're going to be looking for some retribution here. Well, yeah, they are, and uh, you know, you know, the Aussies don't like us too much. Bit of a rivalry there, but then to be fair, everyone hates us. Purple Wiggle finds Kylie Minogue, and here's Tim Cahill early on, and uh, Steve Irwin oh. could be the chance of a shot early. Oh, oh. it's a good block though by Lethal Bizzle. I have to say, in the first game, Lethal Bizzle looked really solid at the back, didn't he? As KSI now brings it forward down the left-hand oh. side. His first uh, interaction with the game here. He's got quite a lot of space. Plays oh. it in and stalls you with a big chance. Oh. oh, what a great save, though, from Iggy Azalea. Yeah, great save. And, uh, you know, that, a lot of injected pace there from KSI. You know, he's got used to uh, boxing and jabbing and smacking. But uh, looks like he's adapted to the football game well. Great save from Iggy Azalea, who did make uh, several important saves in the first match as well. That's the first big one. It ricocheted back off Stormzy and out for a goal kick in the end as uh, she looks to play it clear. Of course, uh, Australia have brought in Hugh Jackman and Rebel Wilson to partner each other in the centre-back spots. How do you see them uh, joining up, Alan? Is it, are they going to make a good partnership, do you think? Well, I hope so. You know, one can play the Wolverine and the other one can sing pretty well. So that might come in handy. It might do as the Queen finds KSI again in a bit of space down there, plays oh. it in, oh it's another great save, oh. but it falls to the Queen and she's absolutely smashed it into Come the empty on net England. on the volley, Her Majesty opens the scoring for England. Well, let's talk about her retiring from her, her duties as the Queen, but she's not retired just yet, what a banger! Brilliant work wasn't it by KSI down the left, Stormzy again denied by Iggy Azalea in goal. But uh, calmness personified, wasn't it? When it fell to Her Majesty, she smashes it in on the volley and it's 1-0 England. KSI going over to embrace the Queen. What a lovely sight that is. And a uh, really good start early on, isn't it, from uh, England here, Alan? The first 10 minutes, they've looked uh, by far the better team so far. Well, yeah, it is. I think, to be honest, they've uh, worked a lot on their fitness. You know, you know, for a fact that Adele dropped a few pounds for this game. A lot of people have kicked off about that, but, you know... I think Ainsley's had a good impact with his cooking and he's cooking some healthy stuff and to be honest I think I'm talking out my arse Speaking of cooking Alan of course your uh, sandwich shack at half time seems to have been going down very well during the World Cup what's on the uh, menu today? Well it's gone down well because we've made more than a couple of sales now and uh, today we've got kangaroo steak wrapped up in a, in a muffin with some custard that sounds absolutely delicious as Kylie Minogue 
has it down the left-hand side here for oh. Judy Dench. Of course, there's some confusion uh, in the team when Judy Dench and Lethal Bizzle play alongside each other because players scream Dench and uh, neither of them know which one they're talking about. Well, uh, here comes Judy Dench, spaced down the right ring, and she's played oh. it. It's Stormzy again! Oh. oh, he's denied by Iggy Azalea once more. Well, she's denied him three times already in the opening 22 minutes. Stormzy cursing his luck. Oh, I think England on the up here. Oh, sense another goal coming. Come on, boys, for the Empire! Here's Kylie Minogue switching the play beautifully towards Nicole Kidman. She's taking on Adele. Cuts inside and uh, holds it up. Now here's Steve Irwin. Back to Nicole Kidman. And Chris Hemsworth, his brother Liam, has been dropped from the starting lineup, of course, as Chris brings it forward and finds Irwin again. It's a great challenge, though, from the Queen, who started the game off really well, hasn't she? Yes, she has. Got a lot of energy. And, uh... oh, what's this? Oh, well, here comes it's Stormzy again. Can he score this time? Oh, well, Iggy Azalea has denied him once again. What a battle this is between the two of them. And Iggy Azalea really winning out so far. Yeah, sorry, Sonny, to have to uh, step in there and do a bit of first man commentary. That's all right, Alan. I should be paid more, but, you know, I've spoken to, to them about this. <sighs> Is Stormzy flicking up and volleying it? Oh, it's blocked well and cleared out for a throw-in for Australia. So, Alan, are you uh, sort of hitting hard times at the moment? Is that why you've got so many businesses on the go? Is the, the rate for the commentary not as much as you were hoping for? Yeah, well, you know, I'm a bit of a Alan of all trades and... Uh, I'm trying to do as much as I can, get a bit of cash, and secretly I'm planning to take over your job. Well, uh, to be honest, Alan, if there's any whiff of that around here, I'll happily just go grab Gary Neville and replace you again as Nicole Kidman plays into the far post. It's Tim Cahill! Oh, it's Ooh. off the post! And then deflected behind by Lethal Bizzle. Big chance for an equaliser there, though. Yeah, big chance, and uh, just going back to what he said about getting Gary in, I don't think a lot of fans would be happy with that, so... But yeah, big chance. Well, let's go down to Gary Neville on the sideline and uh, get his thoughts on the game and uh, the news coming out of the commentary booth so far. Gary, what do you reckon? Well, I just think with what you've said, you probably should try and get me in the uh, commentary booth instead of Alan. Shut up, Gary. Are you shut up? Are you shut up? Here's Judy Dench now playing it back to Winston Churchill. High press from Australia means he has to smash the ball forward and KSI is beaten in the air is Hugh Jackman to Chris Hemsworth. Now Rebel Wilson, who herself looks like she's uh, slid down a bit. Looks like uh, the World Cup squads have got a pretty rigorous fitness regime with uh, her and Adele looking uh, pretty swole. Well, yeah, they have. And uh, same for the gents as well. We know Hugh Jackman likes to get in shape and look sexy. Well, I think Chris is my favourite Hemsworth out of the two, based on his... Physique, so here's Kylie Minogue throwing it into purple wiggle. What a lo lovely little flicker that was. Back to Steve Irwin now. Australia trying to get back in this game just before half time. Cuts in and he's looking for support. He finds Tim Cahill, but there's Ainsley oh. Harriet absolutely dominating him at centre back. Uh, a recent addition, of course, to the starting lineup. He uh, was left out in the first game because JK Rowling took his place, but he's come in and he's looking good next to Lethal Bizzle. Yeah, I think he was ready to come in and steady the defence and. Uh Managed to get things cooking. There is the half-time whistle. England go into the break, a goal in the lead. The Queen with her first goal of the tournament. Great first half, wasn't it, Alan? Yeah, pretty good. Um, obviously, you learnt a lot about how you feel about me as a person and as a commentator. But aside from that, it was a good half and a good game. And uh, I'm off to sort my sandwiches out. Uh, Alan, just before you go, I, I, I do love you, you know. Yeah, just got to go get those sandwiches sorted. Are you so hungry you could eat a camel? Well, don't eat a camel. Come and eat one of Big Al's sandwiches. We've got all your favourite flavours, from tuna and cinnamon, to walrus and cheese, to donkey and apple. And this week only, it's two for the price of two. That's right, buy one sandwich and get another one for the same price you paid for the first one. Big Al sandwiches. I'm hungry, are you? So England get us underway in this second half. A goal to the good, thanks to that uh, finish from the Queen in the first half. Her and David Attenborough in midfield, of course, uh, combined age of almost 200 years old. 
but they're looking pretty sprightly. Yeah, they are, and it just goes to show. With age comes, oh, what's it, how's it go again? With great power comes great responsibility. Here's Ainsley Harriet finding the Queen, who's uh, been controlling things very well in the centre of the park. She finds Ed Sheeran, David Attenborough makes a run on ahead of him. Back to Sheeran and now KSI has got some space to run into down the left. It's been a real thorn in the side of Australia so far as he turns back and finds Adele. Oh, now the Queen again. Adele making the run through. Oh, oh, and she just tried to tuck it back to the Queen. Just intercepted though and smashed clear by Jackman. KSI to take the throw in here. Short to the Queen. Back to KSI. Now here's Ed Sheeran playing oh. it into the penalty area. Stormzy with it now. Looking oh, wow. back for Sheeran. Could be a chance here. Oh. It's 2-0. Oh. Fantastic combination from England. It's Ed Sheeran and Stormzy oh, wow. at it again. Sheeran's first goal of the tournament. England's second of the game. It's 2-0. Whoa. Goal. What a goal indeed. Lovely combination. Stormzy and Ed Sheeran link up so well and it's a great finish as well. This time Iggy Azalea couldn't get near it and England double their lead. KSI and Ed Sheeran, look at them, absolutely delighted. What a finish it was as well and England in control at the moment. Now Beckham, lovely little combination this from England. They really look confident so far in this World Cup, don't they, after the opening win against Wales. Do you see them as uh, tournament favourites, Alan? Well, I don't know really. It's tough to say. I think the Greeks have looked really strong. They've got uh, some almighty beings on their team. Indeed they do. Two substitutions being made here. Stormzy is going off to be replaced by Mr. Blobby up front. His first appearance <laughs> of the tournament. <laughs> His first appearance of the tournament and Margot Robbie comes on for Kylie Minogue down the left. for Australia. Oh! There is Mr. Blobby. Oh my goodness oh, me. Wow. Almost the perfect introduction. He just flicked it up and banged it and Iggy Azalea makes another save. Well... Instead of pestering Noel Edmonds, he's pestering the Australian defence. Wow! After that as well, Ed Sheeran has also been replaced. William Shakespeare comes oh. on and Mr Blobby again from the corner forces Iggy Azalea into another save. She's been fantastic in goal today. She has, but you know, we expected Blobby to be an aerial threat. He's quite a weird guy with his strange laugh and that puts people off. Yeah, you can see the defenders getting distracted. There's another substitution here as well. Australia making the change now. It looks like Nicole Kidman is going off to be replaced by Heath Ledger down the right-hand side. Funny story, actually. I did meet uh, Mr. Blobby in Nando's once, and uh, yeah, we shared half a chicken. Ha! Is, is uh, Nando's one of your favourite places to eat, Alan? Do you go there very often? Well, it's not mine, but I know for a fact Mr. Blobby loves Nando's. Here's Mr. Blobby finding KSI. Two new recruits, really, to the team for England, and both settling in very well so far. Here's Ainsley Harriet finding Adele down the left. KSI making the run on ahead of her and he's got Ooh. there as well. He's been given blue wiggle, an absolute run around so far. Cuts back inside and finds Adele again. Now KSI to the Queen. Looking back Ooh. for KSI, it's a lovely move. And in the end it's uh, intercepted by Chris Hemsworth. Clears the ball for Australia. Judy Dench gets on the end of it but her pass is intercepted. And now it's Al Stewart. Oh, he's oh. giving it away though. It's Mr. Oh. Blobby. He's oh, absolutely Blobby. banged it in. Mr. Blobby with a fabulous finish set up by the other substitute, William Shakespeare. And that surely puts the result beyond doubt now. It's 3 0 England. Oh, wow. Well, really he creeped me out for ages as a kid. But he's made up for it now. Well, I'm not sure what Australia were trying to do here. It was Alf Stewart giving the ball away. William Shakespeare plays it through. And that's a thumping finish, isn't it, from Mr. Blobby. Absolutely no chance for Iggy Azalea this time. Well, Michael Owen is down on the touchline for us. Of course, he scored a few goals for England. And I'm sure he would have been proud of that finish. What do you make of it, Michael? Scoring goals. Indeed he was, as uh, there's a final substitution being made there for England. The Queen is going off to be replaced by Colonel Tom Moore. A 94-year-old being replaced by a 100-year-old. Yeah, it makes sense, you know, with, well, I keep forgetting the saying, what is it? Uh, with age comes responsibility. Well, either way, Liam Hemsworth has just entered the field for Australia. Steve Irwin going off, hasn't made much of an impact on the game, unfortunately, has Steve in England. Look like they're riding out to a comfortable result here. Yeah, well, they've brought on the, uh, the worst Hemsworth, I'm not sure why. I think Chris is my favourite, you know, God of Thunder, play Thor. What's Liam? What's Liam in? Here is Liam Hemsworth, looking to prove Alan wrong here as he takes on Ainsley Harriet, Heath Ledger. Back to Hemsworth. Could he work the space for a shot here as Australia look for a consolation goal? It's a oh. lovely move that's blocked in the end oh. by Ainsley Harriet. 
Harriet and Bizzle have looked absolutely solid at the back as a partnership, haven't they? They have, and that's what happens when you mix a chef with a rapper. It's the perfect combo, as we say in football. Mr Blobby wins his header down to William Shakespeare, both of whom have had a real impact off the bench for England. And there goes the final whistle. Uh, it's a resounding victory for England in the second game of their World Cup campaign. They've got two wins under their belt now. Australia, having lost both their first two games as well, look on the brink of exit from the Celebrity FIFA World Cup. The final score here, 3-0 England. Fabulous performance from them, wasn't it, Alan? Yeah, great performance. Feel bad for the Aussies, but... Uh... Look at Blobby there, consoling the other team, something he normally wouldn't do. But uh, yeah, big win for England. I think you know probably are looking at being favourites now outside of Canada. But uh, what a game it was! And uh, bye. Thanks a lot, Alan. Just a quick uh, word on Mr. Jumbles before you go. By the way, how's he how's he getting on with the World Cup? Obviously, you're away from home quite a lot at the minute. Have you been keeping up with him? Yeah, I have. I've skyped him a few times, and he meowed. It's coming home the other day, so he's excited. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining me once again, Alan, and thank you all for watching as well. What a performance it was from England, 3-0, the final score. Remember, guys, on Sunday, we're going to do the uh, highlight show where we see highlights from every single one of the games of the second week of the Celebrity FIFA World Cup. There are some crackers in there as well, so make sure to tune in on Sunday evening. Also, uh, let me know what you think of the new uh, camera angle and the new mod. We've uh, kind of played around with the, uh, the game slightly, and we've got a new mod going. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Uh, but we think it looks pretty sexy. Let us know in the comments if you enjoy it. And anything else you want to say, if you've got any more players you want to recommend, uh, including in the squads, let us know in the comments as well, please. Leave a like on the video if you're enjoying the Celebrity FIFA World Cup and subscribe if you haven't already. But until Sunday, this is Sunnage signing out with Alan. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Farewell.